Hi, my name is Stacy from SecureAuth, and today we're going to show you how easy it is to integrate Office 365 with SecureAuth IDP version 9.3. By clicking over here to Application Manager, we can see a list of already integrated applications. To add a new one, simply click Add an Application. You can select from a list of our templates, or you can search here to find the one that you're looking for specifically. Hit Select, and you're ready to go. You can modify the application name to identify it more easily in the Application Manager, or you can leave it as default. You can also add an optional description. And then you'll select the data store that you just integrated. You can restrict access to the application by listing the groups that have access to it, or you can simply say, allow every group in your selected data store to access the application. Then click Continue. On the Connection Settings page, you select your User ID Profile field, which this tells me it's the object GUID. I already mapped it to AuxID2, so I don't need to do anything here. For the SecureAuth public host name, this tooltip tells me that it's the public domain for our SecureAuth appliance. That's easy enough. Put that here. The Office 365 login URL is optional per this tooltip, so I'll leave it blank. I'll set the offset minutes to 5 and I'll select my certificate. I am not using a legacy Office 365 environment, but if I was, I would just click Enable Endpoints. Office 365 requires additional attributes. The namespace tells me that it's the user principal name, which I have mapped to AuxID1, so I'll select that here. The immutable ID is the object GUID, which I have mapped to AuxID2. That's all I have to do. Now I'm ready to add my application. Now that it's added, I have this Information for Service Providers page here, which gives me any of the URLs that I may need. This also includes the PowerShell script, which is used on the Office 365 configuration side for Federation. I can simply copy to clipboard, and I have all the URLs provided here. By clicking Continue to Summary, this has a full list of everything that is associated to my Office 365 integration. It includes the data stores that are mapped, any group restrictions that I have. I can access this Info for Service Providers page at any time, and also the out-of-the-box workflow, two-factor methods, and adaptive authentication methods that are enabled. To update any of these settings, I can simply click the Edit icon here, and it will take me to the configuration for this application integration. And now we're done integrating Office 365.